So, does BTS still care about ARMY? Let's look into that. Hello everybody, hi, it's me, D Sparta. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Yes, it's been a while. Um, I had forgot that there was a vacation already booked and planned for June. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I had to get move fast last week to get going, and um, I'm glad I had already recorded videos for like you know the predictions for June, because that would have been silly for me to do it this late into the month. But anyway, I vacation was muchly needed. It was great, but I am bound back and I'm sick, which is why I haven't recorded like I was hoping to do earlier. So if some of you were expecting videos, I, I am sorry. I really am. I lost my voice. I As I'm talking, I can feel it going away again. So I'm wondering if my wife will make me some hot something to drink. She's over here next to me. I'm like, hello. So I can keep talking because this is uh, it's a kind of a problem. But I really want to do this and I miss y'all so much. Um... So, if you're new here, hi. I put in chapter links so you could skip ahead to the readings or you could go through with some of the things we're going to talk about. So keep in mind, chapter links will be provided. So if you just want to jump ahead, I get you. I'm cool with it. So, here we go. It's in this video, we're going to be talking about BTS and how they feel about ARMY and the fans. Um, do they like us? Do they trust us? What, what is going on in their minds? And I want to talk a little bit about why this subject is being brought up. So if you want to hear more about this, then stick around. If not, please just jump ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put in the chapter links. Before you all jump ahead, please, if you haven't subscribed or if you got unsubscribed, please resubscribe. Please subscribe to this channel. I need your help to rebuild the views because I've been gone and things have gone a little woohoo. And so I'm trying to get back into the algorithm because, yeah. So I really appreciate those who like and share and comment. Please remember to be civil in those comments. And I'm going to be addressing a little bit of that going into this next section. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello, thank you for sticking around. Um, I've been getting requests for lots of videos, but I'm gonna. I chose this one first because this is month is a festa. We're celebrating a 10 year anniversary of BTS is um debut, and a lot has happened. And they have changed their music. Cha There's been a lot of changes and we've all grown with them. And well, some of us have, sorry, my, oh, I'm so sick, <laughs> but anyway, um, so we want to get into that. And I'm also going to admit, I, with my videos, I'm trying to cover the topics that people want and I get requests and I want to do them, but if I'm not getting enough of the requests, I'm going to put the videos together and mix them with others readings I think that helps the most and since I do chapter links it, people can jump to the parts that they want to see that seems to be the best strategy for me right now like people keep wanting more info about baby monster but I am not getting a lot of you know more people it's just a couple of people I'm hearing from um, same with uh, stuff with Blackpink. I want to do more on Blackpink. I like Blackpink. I even would like to cover um, Idol. Their <laughs> Queen card and all that. They're doing great. And, you know, there's different girl groups that I also want to cover. But I'm wondering, do you guys want me to do those? And if you do, please help by subscribing and sharing the videos and encouraging others to watch. That means a lot, and that helps me to know who's watching what and what you want to see. 
Okay, so with all the different um, crazy stuff that's going on with the XO and the disbanding of them and leaving their agency, which not to be surprised, but it's happening, you know, and that, you know, I, I, that was one of the predictions in my June predictions that the, there's, there was a group, this was going to happen to them. Some of the videos, some of the predictions like started coming true within the first couple of days. So I'm like, maybe I need to do more for June. This seems to be like a busy month. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I do stuff, the predictions for July, how I handle that. Um, I know people were upset with the, sh the controversy with Suga and him collabing with Halsey for the song Lilith for that uh, video game Diablo. And I got to tell you, that's one of my favorite series and I do play it and I own them and um, I <laughs> do like the song Lilith. Mm. Oh, this was hot. My wife brought me fresh coffee. Didn't realize how hot it was. Ooh, it just burnt my whole inside of my mouth. That's great. Anyway, you know, so I might go into some, and I think people from different cultures, it's a little different. And I also know that for some reason, how, especially in America, it's like if something isn't, um, this evangelical Christian stuff, if isn't, if you aren't doing anything, then you must be satanic and you're worshiping Satan and yeah, stuff. So some of that, I think people need to be more open about, but you know, you have your own boundaries and you set them and that's fine. I just don't force me to feel like I have to believe what you're saying. Cause I probably won't <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that. Um, and then there's the issue, you know, people, the scandal with Jenny of Blackpink and, you know, with her in the Max series, um, HBO Max is rebranded and they're now Max and they've got a lot of Discovery Plus sh channels and shows now over there, which makes things a little bit like, why am I double buying certain shows? You know, that's all, that's a different thing, but <laughs> Um, Max, okay, you know, Cinemax was also known as Skinomax, so, yeah, they're usually very adult-themed, they're just, um, gratuitous sex, you could say, and bad language, and possible drug use, and different things in these shows. It's, these shows are not encouraging you to do this. A lot of times shows like this are being done to kind of give people an idea of what is happening out there. So as an actor and actress, you know, sometimes you play the villain or you play someone that doesn't have the same moral code as you because that's what you do as an actor and actress. You do, you, pre you pretend to be something else and you're be doing part of a creative message. So yeah, I kind of, sort of definitely did ban and remove comments where people were calling Jenny a whore. My channel, my comment section, I try and keep everything friendly here. <laughs> Be civil to one another. So when I see the these kind of comments, it's one thing to say, I don't approve it, my beliefs, I don't like that she's doing this, I can't w support her or this show because what it's showing, understand, that's that's fine. You can say that. I'm not going to silently you. But if you say, oh, Jenny's just being a whore. Jenny the whore is doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, just, you're gone. There, there, there's a difference. Please see the two different sides. So if people are like, why are you blocking the so-and-so and so? Because I'm just expressing my feelings. Be careful how you express them. That's all I'm going to say on that. Now... <laughs> While I was on vacation, when I did get um, access, which was very, not every day, and it was for very short periods of time, um, people were freaking out and upset because there's some uh, psychics, tarot readers out there, whom, 
I think a lot of times it's clickbait or they're misunderstanding something. Um, someone was saying that, um, like, members of BTS don't like ARMY. They don't, they, they see them as a money machine. Some were saying Jungkook hates ARMY. And I, I don't know if this was poorly translated in YouTube translation you know, with the captions or if the person misunderstood who the hate was actually directed to. Jungkook has been stalked. He has someone stalking him and threatening him. So if you're picking up that energy of how he feels about extreme fans, yeah, he's going to probably hate them. Does he hate ARMY? No. Does he hate the extremists out there who wish to harm him? And stalk him because they think they own him and are, they, you know, this they should have access to him? Yeah, there, there, there's, there's a line. So I'm wondering if there's a, some confusions or people not seeing a bigger picture. I don't know. Or I don't know if they're just doing it for clickbait and the views to get attention. That that could very well be it. So yeah, I'm going to be careful. I don't want my own bias to color what I am seeing. So I'm going to get into these tarot readings. We're going to focus on mem each member of BTS and how would they how they feel towards army and so let's get into that okay all right we're going to get into first i'm going to do a general consensus uh reading for bts on whole and then we're going to do mini reading little readings for the members themselves okay so here we go. All right, let's look at BTS. Um, oops, I, got, yeah, I thought I'd fix my cards. Let's see here. BTS, BTS, and ARMY. What is the connection? What is the connection for them as a whole? Yeah, okay. Okay, so. BTS, BTS, BTS. Okay. Okay, so we have BTS here. And this card is the um, Ten of Cups, and you see a family. I, I think this is definitely BTS. They see they're a family themselves, and I think they feel that way about um, Army also. And then um, over here with Army, I have the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands, um, there she's put up like on a pedestal, you know. She, they're conquering all. So I would say, you know, what's going on there. I'm not seeing any negativity about this. I think they see them as a force to be reckoned with and as family. So the King of Swords here is in the middle. I'm putting this between them. And Swords is air. And this is often, you know, the mind and what you're saying. And this right here is um, speaking truth, you know. Being forthright, I, I, I see here that this, you guys, come on, there's, there's a love and a family. D you definitely, I could, I definitely strongly sense, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna keep that as, let's just do this for the group, then I'll get into each person, you know. But I think this kind of explains it enough right here, you know. The Ten of Cups is all, you know, it's happiness, it's true love, it's harmony, lasting, it's a commitment, you know, and then 
here with the um, King of Swords. This is, you know, being rational. This is ambitious. This is just very rational head, head over heart. So there is, while there's love, but there's also, um, they know that army, the fans, are why they have gotten to. So it's not just um, emotional love feelings and family, but it's also recognizing the power and the authority that army and fans have. And with the nine of wands here that I put representing army and it's upright, this is um, defending stuff. This is refusing to compromise and having strength. This is perseverance. And I think BTS feels like they were able to persevere and are so resilient because they've had the backing of army. So, that is definitely, that is the general consensus for the group as a whole. Now let's get in. I'm going to cover Jin. Okay, as I said, right now we're going to get into Jin. Jin, who's in the military. We did see, if you've watched um, Suga's show in the interviews, Jin, um, let's see. There's just a special little bond there between them and a respect. And it was nice to see. And J-Hope popped up, and they had some great stories to share. That was fun watching. So let's see here. Jin, Jin. Okay. Huh. Why did a bunch of cards? I'm like, this is not going so well. Let's try this again. Let's reshuffle. Jin, 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 Jin. Wow. He feels such a disconnect. He doesn't feel worthy. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, here's the Knight of Cups, and it's reversed. There's a lot of feeling going on here, and Knight is actually, he's, he's disappointed. He also feels like he's an imposter, so he doesn't feel worthy enough for what Army does. He's also disappointed in behaviors of ARMY, of people who call themselves ARMY and have are so critical. For him, it's all about balancing between the two different groups. And, you know, when you see the two of pentacles here, this is just balancing and priorities, adapting and um, trying to maintain that balance of appreciation and having a boundary set. But there's this, am I worthy enough to speak up and say that I need this? So the Six of Cups here is reverse. And, you know, he's, he's grown up more. He's more mature. He, so he sees things from a different perspective. And I think he wishes, it's like, I want to have my own independence, but I can't forget all that others and the fans have done to support me, even though I don't feel like I'm worth that, worthy of it. That's, that's kind of what I'm seeing here for. Whoa, did my camera just go blurry? Sorry about that. For Jin. All right, let's check out RM Namjoon, the leader of BTS. Let's see here. Gosh, he's gotten some great recommend, getting uh, acknowledged as being a global ambassador and helping to um, reconnect the, you know, it's, uh, stuff that I want to say, but, you know, I'll get demonetized, but he's reuniting 
following you know soldiers who have passed on and in Korea and getting them repl you know they've been displaced but now they're going back to their countries their families people know them big process and that's pretty cool interesting so the card here hmm it's the six of pentacles and it's reversed you see the six of pentacles all right um hmm you know he is an earth sign he's um virgo if i remember correctly and pentacles you see here he's there's scales there's the scales above this person they're sitting here and it's but when it's reversed i there is um concern um he feels that there is those whom are trying to control he's it's like their lives he feels that there is um he is very concerned with how fans are trying these controlling behaviors uh and he wants to be very protective of the members these saucings he yeah he wants to protect everybody from them you know so let's see here okay getting all groups of cards just needed one or two cards please rm he's really torn up and he's disappointed too and here's the moon and it's reversed and you know major arcana the moon um is a water sign usually and with this reverse there's there's some there's some fear almost like i'm afraid of some of the fans out here there there's fear and afraid of um making a decision that they're gonna it's almost like okay so it's like you know afraid of for bts to officially and publicly say yes we've disbanded we're a group we're you know we're not together anymore doesn't mean we're not ever going to do stuff together it's just i think they're they're, they're trying to find a soft way to transition things because there's too much fear of how people will behave because they're afraid of this um there is the four of wands reversed and often this is you know if it's upright some people think it was a marriage or thing but when it's this there's a lack of support and there's conflicts um there is insecurity there's a lack of freedom there's a disappear they're not he is seeing the darker side of army and it is scaring him because he's afraid to speak up and say certain things because he doesn't want anybody attacking or harming any of the members and the threats so this is something i could just the reason why it's coming up in the tarot it's not that he doesn't appreciate the support he's juggling this balancing of how do i reward those who i want to reward those who support us and i want to silence those who are trying to control us and manipulate and scare us and may have us living in fear there's this this the, and as a leader he is really i'm just seeing this the, Woo, i just saw some i'm you know maybe if i do a, just a different kind of reading for rm I, I will touch on what i just saw because right now i'm a little shook but <laughs> let's move on and let's cover um sugar all right, ready? We're gonna get into Shuga. Let's go. Shuga. <laughs> he is so. It's like I'm just I'm just telling him it's.
he's putting forth a calming presence about things right now, but it's covering a lot of his emotion. Um, if not to, to not show extremism. Okay. Um, something he, I want to focus. He's like wanting to, I'm like, no, no, shoot. I'm trying to focus on your feelings for army, but there's a whole lot he has to say. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's, let's, let's silence this a bit here. Let's see here. How do you feel about army? Do you love army still? Okay, well, this is interesting. The Knight of Swords popped back up, and it's reversed um, still. And, you know, the Knight of Swords is, you know, um, he feels that the fans are being um, harsh, overcritical, aggressive. He thinks um, there are the safe songs that um, are doing things, they feel like there's no consequences, they can do whatever they want, and he is not happy, he is, he, it, it's not Army who he hates, he is having strong feelings, I mean strong feelings, fuck, yeah, the strength card is reversed, and the king, uh, pentacles, the coins, now, with the strength card reversed, I feel like, he wants to take away the power of the say songs, okay? You know, it there I I get with this I just feel he's like enough. You have you guys have gotten too strong and um You're making them all feel lonely and isolated. There's such a pride. Towards the, like, I can't, I can manipulate. We, if we come together, this is army come together. He feels like. They come together, try to, you know, because they have this pride that they can control how, you know, if the good or bad, just by looking at certain, getting a picture of them doing something, it's like, well, I, that is bothersome to him. He feels very violated. Um, the King of Coins, you know, uh, the Pentacles here, he, he thinks he's been feeling, um... Like, you guys are, once again, this is all about control and greedy for their attention. Um, there's, it's the say songs that he's so upset with. It's like, oh, there's, I want to reward those who have been loving and supportive, but, you know, what's going on here is too much hate because he really loves because he, see, he, he's like, I went from nothing. And now I've learned so much and I've gained so much and I've struggled, but I have made friends. I, you know, you guys have been supportive and through, uh, seen us through so much. I, I, he sees that family. That's what the Ten of Cups is. He does, you know, it's not everybody. And he thinks it's, it's a shame what's happening because here's the sun reversed and because he feels that they're taking the spotlight away from those who are supportive. He feels like it's very confusing to him that someone can say they're army and a fan and yet wish to try and control them or um, embarrass or humiliate them or create a scandal or stalking and violating, you know, not being respectful of them as a human being. He has a lot, a lot to say. Um, so the negativity I'm feeling is not towards army or fans. 
He doesn't see them as real army, those who are fucked. So when he says, I love army, he's talking to direct. In fact, all of them seeing this to you who have been supportive and accepting of us and have an unconditional love. He sees that. And for him, he, oh, he, it's like, I know, recognize you all. And I want to give back to you because of all you've given to me. And I want to do better and better because you guys encourage me to want to be better and be a better person and to help others. I see that this is like, so, okay, we got, let's get into J-Hope, which should be interesting. Ah, yes, we're going to get into J-Hope. <laughs> You know, I absolutely love J-Hope. You know, he's like, I'm your hope, you know. But you guys, he, it's, ARMY has given him hope. You know, he's like, you know, I, he didn't know how to rap. He didn't know anything about singing. He was, he liked to dance, you know. And he's become something now. And I, I'm just seeing this, you know, he just just a lot of love for those who are supportive now let's see what else is going on j-hope you know he just finished the basic training congrats j-hope that you know that was a, i know that was not easy and you did it Woo! and he's also uh, got was it an assistant um to help trainees like Jin, I forget what the title is. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. So, okay. Here, here's the Nine of Cups. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, and it's upright. When you see the Nine of Pentacles like this, now remember, Pentacles isn't just about money and career. It's also about Earth, home, our foundation, our homes, what, you know, when you always see about like earth signs like Taurus, everything they like to be home, they like cozy comforts, you know. So it's not just about money, okay? It's about he sees, um, he finds it's like he feels like all his hard work, you guys are the fruits of his labor, you guys have helped him. And they're just to like, cult, you know, become who he is and to try new things and be more emboldened, you know. Um, but at the same time, here's the Ace of Pentacles. We got a lot of coin energy here for J-Hope. But it's reversed. And I think he feels... Um, Oh, wow. He think, he's concerned about fans wasting money. You know, all this crazy stuff to show our love and appreciation. He is worried about fans doing things beyond their means, okay? His concern is, y'all, I appreciate what you're doing, but if you can't afford to spend the money to buy this album or to... Put up these big, huge ad signs. I don't want you to do it. He, he, you don't have to do that to show your love. And, and that's definitely I, it's just a real strong. I don't want you to go above your means. Support. There are other ways to support me without you losing your money. Um, temperance here is reversed. He thinks um, there's too much impulsivity. You guys need to temper things. You know, and have balance. And he finds that there's conflict. And he's worried about the say songs who claim to be army. It's like there's this impatience that some of these fans have. And he's like, you need to be patient with us. We're human. You need to accept, you know, please. We accept you. Please accept us as who we are. And know we're people. Um... He doesn't like the extremes. He's seen the extreme, you know, I'm so devoted, I'm going to spend too much money on y'all, on you, to, hey, I think you guys are great. I want to control what you're doing, and I want to 
um, stalk you and track you down to show you. You know, he's like, no, extremes is bad. Extreme is bad. That's what I'm seeing from J-Hope. Um, but yeah, I, I get energy. He's He misses everybody so much. He misses all the members for him. This is like, you know, it's definite. There's... He doesn't, but he doesn't want to let anybody down. He doesn't want to let any of us down. That's why he joined the military and he's doing his best to support South Korea, be, support his country, do the right thing, just as many others have. He wants to show that he can do it. You know, he's not just a dancer, performer, but he sees himself as just like us, like everybody else, you know, other citizens. He, I get this vibe. So, yeah, he... So we got that there, you know, which is, you know, he is an Aquarius and that, that air energy, I'm not surprised that he's like this. He's very in the mind, in his head about things sometimes. Okay, I think, let's see here, we've done RM, we've done, uh, we've done Jin, RM, Sugar, J-Hope, wow, we're on to Jimin next. Hello, okay, we're now moving on to Jimin. His songs have been in my head a lot lately. I think I fell asleep listening to like a BTS playlist or something when I was camping. <laughs> his, his album face is stuck out there, <laughs> which is good. That's good. All right, Jimin. What do you guys feel about ARMY? Ooh, there's... For some reason, every time I see, I'm just getting dark room, like feeling in a closet in the dark, afraid feeling. I've seen this before with him, and but it's a little different this time. His song, um, Set Me Free. because he feels like that there's he feels trapped in that um but he is like got this innocence and a love for others and and for army but he also feels this darkness um and it has to do i, I see this he's sick and tired of the say songs as we keep this is a keep coming up now See, here's the three of wands, and it's reversed, okay? I, you know, because it means something's broken. Something broken. He's feeling broken. He feels like it, there's unrealistic expectations being put on him and others. He, it, it hurts him because he would love to meet these expectations, but it can't happen. It's unrealistic. If he wants to live his life, he needs, you know, everyone to snap out of it. Now, here's the Ace of Wands, and it's upright. Um... He sees Army as inspiration to keep going, to keep trying. He feels like you guys, Army gives him the strength and the willpower to do things, um, to perform, to step out of his, uh, you know, step out of the box, you know, do things out on the out, you know, he wouldn't normally do. He feels like, you know, Army has given him courage to. Where also, at the same time, there's people who make him feel like he can't ever reach these goals. Or they want him to be something that he's not. Yeah, eh, the Three of Cups. She's reversed over here. Um, three, you know, he feels, wow, isolated from gossip. He feels that... There's a breach of trust. There's people around him. He doesn't feel like he can trust. B 
because they're being paid off by saucings and he sees this and it's very frustrating for him it's making him feel up, up uh, isolated the gossip is really an issue to him he doesn't like it like when jim in, in his song says fuck all your ops it's like he, he this is real he's like if you you can't say you're for me or you support BTS because we're seven. And if you even have an issue with one of us seven, you ain't part of ARMY. You're not. You are part of a problem if you can't accept, you know, this and respect all seven boundaries. That's what I'm seeing with him. Um, there's this love and appreciation and respect. And then he, it's like he's learned to finally separate he's libra so he's like juggles this stuff back and forth back and forth and it's like he's realizing he can shut out and ignore the fucking assholes out there who claim that you know we're are you know i'm i'm a fan and you sh we we you have to do this or not he, yeah that's all you know god definite I, I feel this way with him. You know, he's learning to balance out and to step up and not and have more boldness and be like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm ready to move on. I want to. I'm tired of feeling this isolation and living in fear. And I think RM has been pushing. You know, I just see, saw RM just like encouraging him and and Suga trying to lift Jimin up and say, you know what? You have the strength in you to shine and it's okay to be mad and upset at those who claim their army and claim they supported us but they're not going to anymore because they want you to do something like this you don't owe them anything is what I, you don't because they have turned their backs on you and you don't need to feel bad about it and that's what you know i, I just see jimin's been juggling this all let's check out taehyung v let's see how he's doing all right, all right, let's look into Taeyong V of BTS. How does he feel about ARMY? Let's see here. I just, the first thing I hear is, let me get married. <laughs> I think this boy, he's ready to just start a life. <laughs> Have a family and... In, you know, enjoy the finer things in life and, you know, he still w wants to work hard, but it's like I just, I want to get married, okay? Y'all just need to let the, the I, I've been, you know him in a relationship is something you have been watching me for the past year you've seen, there's I have Young is he wants to be a family man he really does and I just, I, so yeah, let's see what the cards say. <laughs> Let me get married. It's, it's kind of crazy that that's it. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we got the five of wands. Five is always about conflict, and this is fire action. And the ten of cups reversed. Ten of cups is family here he's like i want to st you're stopping me from having a family not all of army but those he, he he's like uh, 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 we have a conflict here a conflict of interest here folks i um don't have to be single and i don't have to be shipped with um somebody here in bts you know i want to be a family man i want to be a husband i'm seeing all this the page of cups, page is young, reversed, um, and, you know, it's a, oof, emotional energy, and I'm gonna, he's, he's very disappointed in the members whom are trying to, you know, who don't want to let him have happiness. He feels that there's an emotional immaturity. And those whom are against him 
moving on with his life and doing these things. Um, I think he's hit a breaking point where it's like, screw it. I can't, it's like, I've always wanted to please everyone, but I can't. So now I have to figure out who I have to please and some stuff. <laughs> and those around who he loves and cherishes. And that includes the army whom are loving and supportive of him wanting to live his life. And those who have supported from the beginning and don't don't have these, as Jimin was saying, unrealistic expectations. He's, he's a little insecure about how ARMY, if they really like him or not. He is questioning if they care about him. It's like, I give so much, and I've sacrificed so much of my life to do this stuff and make this music and sing and dance, and I feel like, yeah. She's disappointed that it's not this unconditional, this willing to make sacrifices isn't coming back for him. That makes sense. All right, let's move on to Jungkook. All right. It's time for us to check in on Jungkook, JK, and how he feels towards ARMY and fans and people. Let's see here. There's a little mischievousness, like, he likes having fun with ARMY and the fans, but he feels like if he gives too much, there are those who overstep, you know, like he likes, he, when he's lonely or feeling isolated, he likes to go live and just chill. Okay, I mean, he's like, I just want to hang out with you guys. It's kind of fun to see your reaction. Did you all see um, for Festo that was released? The seven of them were talking about showing ARMY how much they do love us. And they were coming up with ideas for bulletin boards and ads and different ways to show it and different sayings of which each person was saying. And Joko cracked me cracked me up with his you know are you asleep are you sleeping because you know you know that he got teased by army for falling asleep while go being live you know the rest of the members had to, to tease him too and so for him to be like, you know, I remember this. That was a special moment for him. He actually fell asleep. He come run, just passed out, fall asleep while hanging out. Um, so with him, there's like, but he feels like if he get, starts opening up more, then there's people who get greedy and want and expect even more. And he's, he's struggling with how do I handle, how do I handle this? I just see this. I mean, he loves that inside joke about, are you sleeping? Shh. Yeah, food, this is wild. He feels sometimes there are fans, people who rush. Here's the eight of wands rushing, taking too much action. And the ten of wands and are stabbing him in the back. Quick to stab him in the back when he gives that. That's, that's, that's. That's pretty much, yeah. Um, we know the extremist fans who have done this. He feels like, okay, you know, he's tired of people jumping to conclusions about his life. He feels betrayed by that, where people um, are overthinking different things he says, does. I, it's bothering him. Um, he feels that people are too greedy for his time. Here's the Four of Pentacles. Um, this, 
he feels like he has to guard himself. He is seriously thinking of retiring. These are thoughts going through his mind. If I retire, will people leave me alone then? Um, he, he's just, I'm a human. I'm a person like you. I need, I need my space and I need you. He feels like sometimes some, there's people who don't appreciate what he does give. But he also knows there's a lot more who do appreciate it, him. And sometimes he has to get out of his head and not focus on, you know, those who seem so loud. The negativity always seems so much louder than the positive because it's standing out. Um, the Queen of Swords here, <laughs> another card popped out. Let me show you that card, folks. Queen of Swords, she's badass. She's about speaking up, speaking the truth. Okay? She's also a Libra. And it's that Libra energy of balancing things out. She can be brutally honest. And I think he is getting to a point where he's going to be more honest. Because here's the lover's card and it's reversed. He is sick and tired of everyone being involved, wanting to know about his love life. He feels like there's an imbalance. He's lost trust. This is all air energy. He's He doesn't want to lose his trust, but he's seeing things are conflicting. And he realizes when he makes certain choices... It's going to end some of the army's relationship, their love for him. It's going to be like, he knows he's going to be making some bold decisions. He's been balancing here with this, the Libra energy, balancing out how he's going to tell army and tell everyone, hey, you know, when I was silent and doing my own, doing nothing and enjoyed it, these guys were not getting any kind of time off, not having much of a day off. They could go months before they'd have it like a day or half a day off. I mean, to all of a sudden having free time and it starts thinking and starts seeing the different perspectives. And, you know, first they're told you have to do everything for Army to, wait a minute, Army also has to give back, you know, be back too, you know. Uh, just because I open up and show certain sides of me in my personal life, doesn't mean you get full access. And he is going to be fighting against those who keep trying to... He is... There is something going on. Like the death threats that he's been getting. And that stalker, that person. Oh my gosh. He has been terrified, folks. But it doesn't mean he doesn't appreciate ARMY and the fans. He doesn't appreciate people who are trying to cross boundaries in his life. And that's what he thinks that um, some, some fans can be too overzealous, too greedy with what they want. So I have not. <laughs> let, me, let me continue. We're going to do a little wrap up. I am not seeing that these guys just see Army as a money train. They see Marmy as part of the, of, of a, like the uh, part of extended family. Sometimes extended family, you get along with some of them, and other times you don't. Well, with any family, some of them you know you do stuff with, and others you you avoid. And so, yeah, it, it's not. There's no. I think they feel like they have to take back their power because they've given so much to army of it. And it has to do with them growing up. You know, they're not teenagers. They're not kids anymore. They're, they're in their 20s. They're 30 years old. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they want to experience in life that they didn't get to. So, I think... 
we need to be better better fans to them we really should so yeah um, let's enjoy Festa. Let's enjoy, you know, I mean, there's so many different clues and hints and I think it's great that, you know, we're getting new music. We're getting all sorts of fun surprises from them. And I look forward to seeing all seven of them performing together, whether it is live or pre-recorded. I, I know it's going to happen and I am so excited for that. I can't wait. You know, we've got the one song, Take Two. It's a beautiful song. And it really feels like this is um, coming to an end. And we're going to start something new in their lives. Let's see what happens. Okay, everybody, remember, please subscribe, comment. Let me know what other videos you want to see. I know that I love you all. Hit the thumbs up, notification bell if you subscribe, when you, when you, please subscribe if you haven't already. There are so many thousands of you who watch me and you're not subscribed. Please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. It will, you know, help me out. And remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I love y'all. Bye.